Hey guys, so we just got the Surface Duo in and we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing here. So I just kind of figured that I would take you along for the ride, see how it goes. So stay tuned. All right. All right, so once again, this is Surface Duo. Now Microsoft sent this special reviewers unboxing box, so I don't think this is what everyone's gonna get, but it kind of slides open here, so that's pretty cool. And as you can see, you've got the nice classic surface type wallpaper. And when you open it up, you get both the actual Surface Duo itself, and I guess they included some of those uh, Surface earbuds, but like the new grayish color. Um, here it looks like you can see the different types of screen modes. And then you've got a nice letter from Panos Panay. So, Let's get this stuff unboxed and uh, see how it goes. Now, unfortunately, I am not allowed to show you guys the software yet. Um, that's a separate embargo that we're bound by, but we can show you the hardware. Wow. Okay, I hear, I hear a lot of people say that like holding this in your hand is different than seeing it on a screen and I already love this. What the heck? This is awesome. You know, I've been super mixed on this device just seeing it online, but holy crap, I like this. I love these like gadgety things, you know, like foldable phones and stuff. They're just like the best because they're like gadgets. You can kind of see the difference in size of the fold or the Galaxy Z Flip closed. This thing is thin though. This thing is insanely thin. Crazy thin. All right, so put it to the side. Let's see what else we got in here. Got a bumper, which I think is fairly necessary considering this is made of glass. I mean, it looks so much better without the bumper, but like at the same time, I feel like when this is made of glass and I am fairly clumsy, this would be a good, this is probably a good thing to have. It is so thin. There's a USB-C port on the bottom. It's like barely, thinner than the actual device. We've got the fingerprint reader, power button, volume rockers. Wow, those bezels are freaking massive. Oh, okay. Let's see what else is in the box. Got safety information and stuff. USB-C to USB-C charging cable. That's cool. Oh, it's a nice brick. 18 watts. So, we can kind of compare against some other phones in terms of like thickness. So here's S20, uh, Note 20 Ultra, Surface Duo, and Galaxy Z Flip. And then here's Pixel 4a, but you know, it's not really a fair comparison. But it is definitely, a, when it's closed, it's just a tiny bit thicker than the um, Note 20 Ultra. The Galaxy Z Flip is definitely thicker when it's closed. But you know, when it's open, each side is really thin in comparison. Like, yeah, that's for sure thinner than both of these devices by like half. It feels like a notebook, which is really interesting. And I'm excited to actually try this. I know that some friends of mine were super excited to like use it for um, like reading Kindle. And I wanna try that for sure. Yeah, so I'm kind of sad that they didn't give us a surface pen here, but that would have been nice. Apparently it can magnetically attach. So one thing I noticed that's kind of fun is that the Surface Duo can fit in a breast pocket, which is cool. I like phones that can fit in that pocket because I wear the shirt too much. Uh, <laughs> but like the Galaxy Z Flip can also fit in there. You know, it's obviously a lot easier to fit in there, but it's cool that that can technically fit in there as well. Um, also, a lot of people are asking if it fits in a pocket pocket, and it does. And I mean, I have pretty big jeans, but it fits pretty well, which is surprising considering this thing is freaking massive, so. Okay guys, so I think that'll about do it for our unboxing of the Surface Duo here. Now again, we're not allowed to show any software yet. 
hopefully very soon we'll be able to show you a little bit more of the software and how it works and changing apps and all stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned because I will let you know as soon as we have more of that information. But make sure you, you go over to androidauthority.com as well because I've got a lot of photos of this device on the website as well as a little article about this unboxing. So anyway, I'll catch you in the next video.